Welcome to our Python programming deep dive. Today, we're exploring a fascinating question about context managers and generators. Our viewer asks, what triggers the execution of the exit method in a context manager, especially when dealing with a generator? Let's unravel this mystery together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution you need. Anyway, let's continue on. In this Python code snippet, we define a custom context manager using the MyFile class. This class inherits from the built-in file class and overrides the exit method. The myGenerator function uses this context manager to open a file and yield its lines. The with statement ensures that the file is properly managed. When we call next on the generator, it retrieves the first line from the file. However, when we delete the generator reference, the exit method is triggered. The exit method is called because the generator's reference count drops to zero when we delete it. This is a key feature of Python's garbage collection. In summary, even though the code appears to be within the with statement, the context manager's exit method is guaranteed to be called when the generator is no longer referenced. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. When a generator object is closed in Python, it raises as a generator exit exception at the last yield point. This exception then triggers the, the exit method of the context manager in use. This feature was introduced in Python 2.5, allowing yield statements inside try finally blocks. Before this, you couldn't yield within a with statement either. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. When using a context manager with a with block, if an exception occurs, it is passed to the exit method. This is important for handling exceptions properly. In the case of the file class, the generator exit exception is passed silently. To see this in action, you can print the exception information in your custom exit method. Here's an example of a custom MyFile class that extends file. It prints messages when exit is called, showing the type of exception that caused the exit. The output shows that core exit was called and reveals the generator exit exception, indicating the context did not close naturally. And that's it. I hope that helped find the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.